Good luck. This marks week 108 of the Shogi teaching ladder. Um, incidentally, uh, due to losing my last Blitz game, uh, this is also a demotion match for me. So I am somewhat motivated to hold on to my rank and rating. Um, but um, also I'm motivated to learn. Trying to win rating points is not my only motivation on the site. So, um, yeah, let's just try to play this game and enjoy it. Um, yeah, let me close this bishop diagonal before something crazy occurs. <laughs> okay, I thought something like that could happen. Um, our opponent might be threatening to move the rook over and take the third file, as I've done on many occasions. Um, to combat this, how about this time I play fourth file rook strategy? Go back to something we played a long, long time ago. And see whether or not um, it ends up being a reasonable thing to do here. So our opponent has selected third file rook strategy. Technically, fourth versus third is a strategic mismatch in favor of third file rook. Um, that's the meta. Is that meta going to prove itself out today? I don't know. Um, I do think one move toward defending this is reasonable. Okay, my overlay looks fine, so I'm not going to make any adjustments right now. I did correctly set up my chat window for a rated game in emotes only mode. Um, so I'm also going to attempt to discourage them from building uh, the king in the corner castle, Kanaguma. They are also declining that option. Very good. Um... So, yeah. As for how I play the strategy in general, I'm not completely certain. Um, I do know that in Shogi, for all of your pieces to be effective, you do have to use your silver generals. Silvers can weave between the pawns quite nicely, so they strengthen uh, pawn formation greatly by being present. Um, I'm a wee bit confused. Maybe I've walked into a trap here. If I move my king too far over, it gets difficult to defend this point. I don't know if I've walked myself into a trap or not. Um... King over, pawn up, pawn takes, bishop up, silver up. I don't know. I forget this trap. Seems like a relevant thing to know. Um, I think this is sound. I hope this is sound. All right, so this this is the Ishida formation, where they bring the knight out to support the rook from behind. Um, but in committing to that, they can no longer play the bishop out as easily. Um, hmm. If I move my king, if they push, if I take, if they move this bishop here, silver out, rook to, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how dangerous it is to move my king into this line.
All right, I'm going to unblock my rook by moving the silver out of the way. They do build the Ishida formation, uh, the knight supporting the rook. Frequently, this is joined by a bishop on this edge, but not necessarily. Um, Okay, I'm going to try to get my king into the corner. Hopefully I've not just walked into a trap. I don't know. So they're playing a very solid shape here. I build myself half a castle. Um, and I think at this point, hmm, there's multiple ways they could strengthen this castle. This is not my best opportunity for attack. If I wanted to strengthen my castle, I could consider pushing this pawn, but that might weaken it. Um, in this double swinging rook game, speed is often quite important. Um, Wait, so nothing's supporting this bishop. Mm. I'm going to play a cowardly move. If I were feeling bold, I would push my rook pawn. I'm not feeling so bold at the moment. Um... If I push this pawn, if they try something aggressive, does this ever work in my favor? Maybe. If I bring my silver out, this blocks my bishop. Blocking the bishop is horrifying. I should not be considering that. But if I don't bring the silver over to support this attack, it's going to be a long time before this attack goes through. That's the dilemma. And I'm not sure how best to combat here. Like, if I bring the silver up, they could push this pawn and then make it harder for me to advance in the future. The silver up might have been an overplay. Now, I shouldn't be considering retreating it anymore. This is not an occasion for that. Um, 
Yeah, let's play the bold move. So, uh, yes, this makes things more complicated, but um, simple lines disfavor me here. So we're going to try the complicated way of playing this. I would be even better off if I could somehow strike the king directly, but that's not feasible here. Um, yeah, so, hang on. If I push this, um, the rook could attack, my rook could defend, they could move their knight out of the way, discovering an attack along the diagonal. My bishop is hanging. It's difficult. Um... What makes this difficult is that I don't have a pawn in hand. All right, so I point toward the king directly. Um, this allows me to threaten pushing this rook pawn again, and then this one next. Um, the downside of this bishop move is that they could hit the bishop, but then they've blocked their rook. So hitting, oh, that's fine. I assume they're saying they had some technical issue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried myself about the connection. Of course, I'm not going to claim a win or anything. Now, 81 Dojo forces you to claim victory if they've been absent for too long, but I'm not going to go out of my way to claim a win. That's not what we're here for. So if I push this pawn twice and then move the silver... Well, no, I'm still not winning the rook. Okay, that is aggressive, sir. Um... Usually I am supposed to capture this sort of thing. I see no reason to do otherwise here. Or no compelling reason to do otherwise. If I take here, I can return the favor with this pawn move. Um, hmm. Yeah, this tension only becomes a problem if they get a pawn there and I can't combat that with a pawn on the square. Um, they're thinking a couple steps ahead and then a couple steps beyond that, but in the present situation there's not a problem. So I take here, 
And then after having taken this, assuming the rook recaptures. Oh. Okay. That's sharp. That loses a knight. Um. Unless the thought is I take here and they take this pawn. Maybe that's what they're thinking. They might not be wrong. Uh, if I take the bishop, if they take my pawn, they're threatening my rook. Um, maybe it's not the easiest position ever. Um... If I'm reckless, well, let's see, I give up the lance in the night and I retreat and defend my position. How bad is that? That looks pretty bad. Um, does that look worse than losing my rook? I'm not afraid of a rook. Should I be? Maybe. Yeah, I have to take the bishop here. The material loss is enormous if I don't take it. No, I could defend this point without using my bishop to defend it. That's yet another possibility, is just use my gold. Um, they could take here, I could take back. Hmm. This is a big decision. I could commit very hard to a, li a line that looks very dangerous. Or I could defend my king for once. The defense defensive move looks quite good, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to find my a reason to persuade myself to do... Oh. No. I really want to take the bishop. I like sharp positions, but my king is not safe. Nothing about this position is safe. Three pieces for a rook is usually a really good deal. Here it's also a really good deal. I can't turn down that deal. So... Yeah, knight takes is confusing, but I get three pieces for a rook. In this line, bishop drop 5-5 five five isn't happening yet to me. So I could stop this knight capture. Well, no, bishop drop doesn't stop the knight capture. Bishop drop back here would. There may be other complications there. Um... Hmm. Take the knight, 
they check me and get my lance, I take their rook. That's not happening. All right, so I take the piece. I'm attacking a rook. The rook dodges my attack. And now I'm up a piece. And what's not the safest position ever? This defending my king, trying to prevent this fork, seems like the most logical way to approach the position. It's still risky um but i think it's logical okay this offers a silver for a silver if i take the offer why i would i don't know well no i would because if i could potentially trap a rook here No, I can't. It's still worth considering. Ah, uh, okay, this is their target. I think this is still the most logical way to play the position. Defending against every bishop drop every turn is a bit taxing. But the profit is that maybe I could win this rook. Uh, in exchange for all this complexity. So, my bishop's head's defended. Uh, tricky moves might work. Um. Hmm. All right, so we peacefully retreat. Ever so peacefully. We found harmony in our position and are contented. Um, next up, I suppose, is this pawn advancement idea. Well, no. Tactics don't favor that. Um, so yeah, tricky moves trying to eagerly collect this rook don't land me anywhere good. But I don't need to eagerly collect it. I just say it's collected, and then I don't worry about the rest about exactly how and when it's eventually collected um i don't need to prove that it's gone
Yeah, this actually helps me quite a bit. Um, maybe they're... I don't know what they're trying to do. They are out of pawns, however. That we know. So back I retreat. And yeah, this rook, my contention is that the rook is captured. The fact that it's not in my hand is different. But yeah, it... It's under arrest. There's nowhere useful it can go. Uh, interestingly, now I can push this pawn. Hmm. Should I? I don't know. Probably. Maybe better is pushing this pawn. No, pushing this pawn gets me nowhere. Pushing this one could actually win something pretty heavy. Um, yeah, so the king is right there. Obviously, I want to aim for the king. The rook has given up defense of the square, so I pounce on this opportunity. Um, the king might move into the path of the lance. I doubt it. Yep, our opponent still is very interested in exchanging this rook for something to demonstrate that it's served a useful purpose this game. Um, I forgot I get a prompt when I reach that square. It's a good thing I moved in a timely fashion then, eh? Um, Hmm. If I'm too lax, there do come some real problems here. I don't know what to do. This is not the right move, but I seriously don't know what to do here. So, we're going to play this. There is some better move somewhere, I just don't see it.
I considered a pawn drop here and then followed by that, but that didn't look right either. Considered this as well, that didn't look right. So this might be okay, but there must have been a better move. This is just so unadventurous. So lacking in spirit. Oh, holy crap. That's, that's a sharp move. Um, that's an extremely sharp move. Why does my opponent want me to play this? I don't understand. I'm looking and trying to understand, I just don't get it. There, now, one little detail made this calculation easier, and that's that the rook can no longer use the square. So now the rook is not just under arrest, but it is lost. Like, as a matter of just reading ahead, um, there's no escape for this rook. Also, this was a dangerous thing to do right next to your king in general, but um, yeah, so I could push the, this up and then drop a knight here, or I could drop a knight here and then push this up. There's literally no escape out of that. Um, maybe there's some tactic elsewhere in this line that tries to justify it, but um, yeah, I don't know. Also, where do I drop it? Left or right? Also, do I just push this up first? I think this is a reasonable way to play this. Time will prove me wrong, but oh well. Silver back, rook out. Oh, pawn drop, and I can't pawn drop right there to follow. I've only got one pawn, and two pawns in the same file would be Nifu anyway. Like, half the ideas I'm generating involve illegal moves of some form. This is not good. Let's pace myself. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Play a legal move. Have some water. I mean, potentially they could push pawn 5-5 five five to try to muddy the water. Not here, but at some point. Um... Wow, it's a good thing I did the drop here instead of there, because, like, I thought the pawn captures forward and diagonally for some reason. Shogi pawns don't capture diagonally. That would be a chess pawn that captures that way. Um, anyway, let's get this over with. And I can push this next and get the rook for one pawn. If I really wanted to capture it right away. Um, it's not a bad piece to have. There's like, I don't even know how they try to escape the rook at this point. Not sure how much I should care. I need to attack where Don't the king you. is. Alright, so we're going to continue attacking while this knight is pinned. Uh, I would push this pawn toward the knight, but then the rook would take the pawn. Our opponent finally breaks the pin. Um... I'm trying to figure out how to continue the attack after I get the piece. Oh, knight takes and they have a lance in the corner. That's not. It's not terrible. Oh, knight does not take because the lance would hang next. Very well. Also, rook here would be fatal, so... Minor details matter, right? Um... I don't want to lose this. That'd be super embarrassing. All right, so forward we march. The threat is to push this and extinguish that. They cannot block on this diagonal in any way, shape, or form. I don't see any way that their bishop can overwhelm my forces. Um, if this pawn happens to advance and then I do this advancement myself. Okay. I was going to remark on um, this rook drop being modestly scary. Um, if I take this lance and then I drop the rook and then I move the bishop here, that's mate. Mate takes priority over everything else. Wait, no, if I drop the rook, the king escapes. <sighs> king escapes through this way. Um, 
So I can't just completely ignore what they're doing. Um, this is my fastest attacking path. Mm -hmm. They can finally block this diagonal, and they do. ご注意を。40秒。40秒。1、2、3、4、5、6。All right, I try to surround the king. Yep, that is check. They might bring their bishop back here. Um, Against that, I guess I plan to block this diagonal. Moving that silver is a bit suicidal. I would not recommend it unless it's necessary. It's just coincidence that I'm dropping this hitting the king. Really, my target, I mean, my target ultimately is the king, but um, this is the only way I can place an attacker anywhere near their king here. Um, I'm not playing that because it's check. I'm playing this so I can get behind the opponent's lines. All right, we we're going to checkmate shortly. So if they take my knight, pawn takes. The king still is able to run quite a lot. It's quite irksome that like I'm not finding a mate here, but. If I take with the pawn, that's one thing. If I take with the silver, that exposes my rook here to help in this attack. Actually, yeah, that looks useful. 
exposing this rook here, then I could do uh, silver takes, gold takes, rook takes, king takes, rook takes here. So yeah, this, this attack is slowly coming together. Very slowly. It's sad how slowly it comes together. Alright, so if the king runs, I can sack gold takes, sack here, king takes, rook takes, promotes, and there is no escaping that. Therefore, the king cannot run here. Um, not without fatal injury. Is there another way to checkmate this king? I haven't looked. Maybe I should look. But this is so overwhelming that I'm not looking for other mates. Thanks for the game. That was exciting. Sharp stuff. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's see, I assume... <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Hidechi uh, recommends uh, starting yay from the beginning. So I guess I will ask... Uh, sure. Can we do this? Um, that's fine. Awesome. Oh, hey, look. Um, all right. Uh, assume you prefer 81 Dojo chat uh, versus Twitch chat. Yeah, either way, your call. Um, but I assume, as I assume with everybody, I assume they prefer chatting inside this interface. Um, totally their call, however they want to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So the fun part about the teaching ladder is that um, after um, we play a game, we get to do post-game analysis together and try to learn uh, from what each other's experiences are and learn from uh, looking at the game itself. Um, yeah, on the 81 Dojo, you can find a Wikipedia page about how, they, how to uh, improve um, your play, how to perform post-game analysis in a way that improves your play. Um, and 81 Dojo recommends um, that you do analysis from the beginning of the game because uh, otherwise you might never get back to the beginning you get so excited about the end game in the middle of the game that you completely forget to look at the opening phase so <laughs> uh, so that's fine uh yeah this looks like a normal opening um i couldn't remember uh there's some traps somewhere here with like something like this uh, and I don't remember exactly when that takes place here or if that was possible hopefully I didn't allow it but um, yeah there's some trick or I think if I just step into this I think this is the hard point um, I don't exactly remember though. There's something here. Or maybe, maybe it's not this. Maybe it's back one more. I don't recall. Yeah. If I forget the trap, uh, this can get quite terrible. I don't know why I'm typing, other than like some games I have fallen into this trap, and I just don't recall exactly where it is. 
Maybe this is it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere here. Um. Oh! Oh, so I can actually do this here. And I'm forced to do this here. Yeah. And it's still difficult. Um, because, um, yeah, this, there's a lot of pressure on this position. Um, maybe that's not it. No. Um. Yeah, this, uh, forces silver 2-8. Um. So this is not the castle I prefer playing. Uh, yeah. Or maybe 938 gold instead. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess because. Yeah. So the trick with that would be like, I could do this and, uh, this. So that's why I can get away with this, whereas normally I might not be able to. Um, so this, yeah, 3-8 gold is kind of cool. I like it. Yeah. So, still a tough position. Um, sen shape. Uh, yeah. I assume that means... I don't even know. But I've had this shape before, um, both uh, as the aggressor and as the defender. Usually with a different piece there than the gold, but like you've punctured the third file. Um, it's really nice. Um, it's very powerful. It's hard to fight against, yeah. So, it's a bit weird to do it before castling. Um, yeah, yeah, this is really powerful. And then you could just play that. But you got that square under control. Yeah. Oh, he says this is overextended. Um, maybe it is overextended. Hmm. Yeah, it, it might be hard to hold on to the pawn. It might be too early. I don't know. But either way, this is not the castle I'd set out to play. So this is a way to present some challenges in the opening. Cool stuff. Um, so... Anyway, we played this really nice, peaceful opening um, where I just couldn't remember all the theory. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah, so here I take control of this square. Um, so there's it's hard to expand this castle too much further. Um, I Look forward to my opponent's comment here, because this is where I should be prompting them for a thought. Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that whoever loses the game normally is the one in control of post-game analysis. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so what's your plan? Yeah. Uh, it can be fun to enjoy the ride, um, but here you need a plan. Having a plan, being able to execute some plan, I think is what separates the Q and the Don players. Yeah, I don't know. So Lexi's remarking... Uh,
That's what the targets mean. Uh, yeah. So right here, he's thinking going t for the plenary plenary Ishida. That's cool. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a really strong shape. <laughs> yeah, uh, so they did go ahead. Oh. Guess the plan changed when he plays this. <laughs> like, hey, I wanted to play Plenare Ishida, and then wait, I blocked my bishop. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, he's wanting to control this line. Okay. I guess that's fine. Um... <laughs> Oh, I see. He means this bishop line. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess this is defended, right? Yeah. There's a lot to read, um, but yeah, I allowed myself into this because uh, I could see that this is defended. Um, if my bishop were completely hanging, I would be perhaps too nervous to step into this. Uh, perhaps earlier, why'd you trade off the rook pawn? I wonder what would be a good opportunity for this. Oh, yeah, like here. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, plenary is a hard uh, shape, so yeah, it's definitely a solid shape, um, okay. Yeah, so I avoided uh, trying to break up binary. Um, yeah, this shape. Yeah. Uh, I decided uh, just to attack uh, your king directly. So, um, yeah. This got sharp, to say the least. Um, Shida is a solid shape, um, but a consistent uh, plan helps. So yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, you wanted to do one thing, you wanted to do another thing. I've been caught in the crossfire of selecting between many plans, um, many, many, many games, um, but here kind of unfortunately got the worst of each world. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, practice uh, makes perfect, I guess. But yeah, this is kind of, unfortunately, this is where the rubber hits the road. If you want to hit one Don, you gotta uh, pursue some kind of plan consistently. Um, I think really that's the difference. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I'm typing again. Yeah, it caught me off guard. 
I'm surprised this doesn't completely lose. Like, my initial reaction was that, um, well, completely stunned at this. Um, and I'm, I don't know how many good moves I have in this position. There's a lot to read. So there's this, there's this, there's this. Um, I wonder how many other moves. I was considering this even. Um, best looked like taking the bishop. Okay, so Lexi points out I don't have many good moves here. Huh. Okay, so this knight takes... Yeah. He does threaten this. And I guess this is, like, the heart of the matter, right? So, like... Alexei might see this better than I do. Um, but yeah, the here, this pawn supports the silver, which supports the bishop. Um... And I don't know, like, uh, I this confused me. But at the end of it, I thought I was okay. Ah, that makes more sense than what I came up with. Okay. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I accidentally came up with the right move. Um, so this would have been fine for me. Interesting. Yeah, I thought this was curious. So I was going to play it this way. Uh, this might be way too much. But, like you point out, hitting the rook might be interesting, too. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, maybe there's... If this works, then this is amazing. If this works for me, then uh, it's amazing. If it doesn't work, then we always have that horse two three line to consider and try to figure out if that works or not. So, um, yeah, this might be a possibility. Uh, yeah, this is quite interesting, too. Um, I guess we take here. Oh boy, I don't know. I'm not sure where to go from here. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted to suggest. Um. Hmm. Is this possible? Or is this land in the same boat we were in in the game? I don't know. So that's like one way to go with this. I guess this is another way to go. This might be too risky. I just don't know. So, yeah, this is potentially a way this game could have gone. I thought the three pieces line might have been cleaner. Um, where I just mop up the lance and the bishop and the knight. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, potentially we go here as well. 
Okay. This makes some sense. I don't have a knight. So, I mean, it's good to puncture this. And that gives me a foothold to continue an attack later with a bishop. Um, okay, Olivandi recommends this. Can't blame him for recommending that. Oh, that's a fork. This is another way to collect a lance. Um, maybe like this we tried to defend? I don't know. Now, admittedly, that undercuts the base of this here. Okay, so yeah, actually, it's not so easy for Gota to attack here. And it seems easy for Senta to attack. Yeah, so this actually looks... Um, yeah, this looks fine for Senta. Um, yeah, it's hard to find tricks to keep this going. Um, I mean, potentially, maybe this instead. Trying to avoid splitting the castle. And on that, I don't know. Wait, why am I using a gold? Why don't I just hit this? Um, yeah, this would be a reasonable way to try to think about this. Right, so we pick up the lance. I guess maybe I really wanted this pawn or something. I don't know. Um, and then if this attack comes across the back rank. Okay. Uh, nice. Wow. All right. So yeah, there is a defense there. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. So yeah, this uh, this is pretty one-sided. Cool. So yeah, this horse promotion. Um, even this line doesn't really strike the balance that's needed. Uh, the horse can also go to 3-5. Um, oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and that's nice. It can help defend the camp and incidentally hit this, too. Um, that's really nice. So, yeah, my bishop capture strikes the right balance in this position. Um, and this knight takes doesn't upset that balance, so we get this, what actually happened in the game. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. After this, with what happened in the game, um, I just collect an extra knight. And I've already defended this point, and this is loose, and this is loose. And I've got these points in my domain. Um, so. Ah. Uh, well, maybe there's some thoughts there. Oh, hang on. Yeah, for the, for the fork to be available, you'd have to prevent me from preventing you from doing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Yes, I had a lot of motivation here to find a good move. So I found it. Uh, yeah. 
turns out with your back to the wall, well, some people use that as an opportunity to find good things. Uh, others panic. Uh, but yeah, this is a good move. Um, yeah, of course, uh, what should happen is this promotion. Um, and then, yeah, this, I don't know, something happens here. I just have to stay one step ahead of my opponent. Um, I don't know how I do that, but I need to. We would have had to fight this one move at a time until something, yeah. This is, in post-game analysis, this is what I'm starting to look at. Something like this. Um, and hopefully I survive it. I'm probably fine. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, I would have had to find every one of these things. Yeah. Oh, that's a trap. Wow. Well, damn. Okay, so yeah, that fork isn't available here. I didn't see that, obviously. But that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, so that shuts down the attack. <laughs> oh. mm. Yeah. So, even so, like... Hmm. Maybe there is no better thing. Yeah, maybe this pawn drop is just magnificent, and therefore... Therefore what? I don't even know. Um, it's just a really difficult position for Gota here. Yeah. Yeah, if we allow this sequence of captures, I get the lance. They don't get the lance. I think the pawn drop is far better, but this is... Yeah, with my back to the wall... Um, yeah, certainly this is another consideration. It, um, so if I didn't have a pawn, or for whatever reason that other variation didn't work out, this is plausible. It actually does defend the center square. That's an interesting try. Um, generally, you'd like to move the... Oh, yeah, the rook up does a dodge this. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Um, ah, okay. Alexi's saying just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Just don't do anything crazy. Yeah, I think Alexi's right. Um... So, yeah, whereas I'd be looking at crazy stuff like, hey, can I trap both of these pieces by dropping a silver here, a lance there, or whatever? No, just don't even bother. This position, yeah, either one could take that lance. Um, yeah, it probably makes... Unless there's some trick in the position, bishop takes is probably the more reasonable way to look forward to it. Yep. Uh, so that looks fine for me. It's definitely a consideration. Yeah, and then I could look forward to bringing the horse back and pointing at their king, and maybe, I don't know, break open these files profitably somehow. Um, yeah, eventually it'll take my rook, I'd take back. We defend against their attack for a few turns and then just crush them. Um, because we have way too many pieces and a really solid castle that's designed for this kind of attack. Whereas theirs is designed to defend from the side. Um, well, I guess I'm talking about my horse. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, maybe Alexi's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably my fault for not doing this then. Um, yeah, the pawn drop's better. This is probably okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about for a minute, do I try to figure out um, whether that other variation with the rook up is better or not. But then, yeah, we look at this, um, and this just seems clearly best. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh, look at that. We got a fork on our hands here. Oh, man. Well, that's something. I didn't foresee that one. Um, yeah, that's nice. We'll take that. But yeah, as I was evaluating, do I look at that variation and try to defend it? I'm like, wait a second, I have a better move here. Let's just look at this instead. And yeah, this is this is playable. This is less dicey than the Rook 6-6 six, six variation. Yeah, the horse is such a powerful piece, even from all the way over here. Yeah, it it does a good duty. It, it does well there. Um, but yeah, uh, Rook 6-6 six, six is probably dicey. But we found a good move there. Anywho, um... Um, so, this, uh, yeah, this defends the silver, and I defend against everything, so, yep, now I control a lot of squares. Um, so, yeah, the rook is, uh, arrested, and it's very difficult. I don't see any way um, that Gota can make progress here. Um, yeah, Silver 3-3 I think was a reasonable try. It's just, this just doesn't work. Yeah, losing the knight and a pawn, and um, yeah, then like I get to promote and continue attacking. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you sack material, um, it's one thing to, like, need initiative and play and such, but here, I've got play, and I haven't even had to sack for it. Um, so this is so brutal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he just straight up missed uh, this defensive move here. Yeah, so... Where did that happen here? Right there. So yeah, that was the critical moment. And once that moment passed, it was just, it was too late. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Hmm. I mean, yeah, they did a lot of things well. They built a good castle. They activate their rook. They tried to play plenary Ishida and then got distracted. And they thought this looked cool and... I got distracted. Um, since I was in danger, I was the one looking carefully at every little detail that I could find. Um, it's easier to play more confidently when you're not the one in immediate danger. Um, yeah. I wonder. So, 
So either a free promotion, oh, well, okay, yeah, we could look at that in a second, Plexi, that's fine. So yeah, this is the free promotion he's talking about. Um, not sure it's completely free either. So like there are other drops, right? Um, I guess there's this, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so really, I guess I could defend against it this way, too. Um, so that's another thing. Oh, yeah, so they, yeah, so they built some initiative here, sure. Um, or maybe I even just offer this here? I don't know. It seems like they're it this might not be as simple as they hoped. But yeah, this is the feeling they had is that uh, free promotion. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this could have been playable. Yeah, so if I'd missed the awesome drop, this definitely could have, this could have been an option. Um, so a second ago, Alexi was suggesting, let's take a look. Uh, move 47. We'll take a look at that. Um, uh, 47 is this drop. Oh yeah, I struggled in this position. Didn't know what to do. I let my nerves get the better of me here. Um, yeah, so I was debating stuff. So I had like this, or this, or this, or hell if I know. I'm still not sure. I don't know where to begin this. Okay. Um, what's this? Oh, oh, there's the move. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and then this is to be followed with this, right? Yeah. Ah, that's the killer blow. I mean, yeah. I could, like, chase the rook, too. But okay, this is clearly a swing and a miss on my part. Damn. That would have been nice to find. This attack never ends. It's such a nice attack. It's a huge miss. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, streaming. We are here. We do live stream the teaching ladder games and post game analyses. This is what we do. Um, so yeah, that would have been a really nice find. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that variation is just straight up winning because that cracks this open in a way that cannot be stopped. While I control every square on this diagonal, 
That seems to be the best move by a long, long shot here. Um, I mean, I... No. I'm trying to justify other moves, and none of them work out. Uh, so after I played this... Um, I wonder how you could defend. So... Oh! This simple retreat. Okay, yeah, during the game this concerned me. Um... Yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. I mean, it's uncomfortable that, like, hey, if, theoretically, if I had some way to hit the square multiple times, then that would be problematic. Um, you wanted to get your king off the diagonal. <laughs> I think the king, the cost is too much. Uh, wait, what happened to the game? Uh... Oh, this is what you're trying to do. But, yeah, uh, like Lexi says, this could be considered, right? Um, yeah. I guess it's scary. Because, like, I'm threatening this file. But um, my attack doesn't hit fast enough, as best as I can discern. Yeah, so, yeah, like, this is my threat. But I don't think it's in time. Actually, this looks good. Really. How is this good? Brick takes. Um, okay, so this is... Yeah, I guess they're forced to play some... Yeah, well, that's the natural reaction. There seems to be a bit of an issue with that move, right? Am I just imagining this? Um, maybe I can't take it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the natural move is best, actually. It's clever. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I was thinking about. Um. Hmm. I mean, even losing a rook here is not so terrible. Um, if you had to. But maybe retreat here? I think there's some chance that maybe you could salvage this position. It's not the world's best position ever, but... Um, there might be something to salvage out of this. Yeah. So, like, this is a threat now? I don't know. So, I still have all my pieces still not doing much here. Um, so, yeah, there's... This might have been okay. I'm not... So sure that this bishop takes... Well, bishop takes is how, how I would have considered continuing. But I'm not sure it's decisive. Um, so, yeah, this looks like a reasonable defensive try or idea. Um, See, maybe Alexi's right that uh, this rook takes might be the best try here. Um, 
then against this. I'm still trying to work through all the details. Uh, hmm. Okay, that's a cool candidate. That hadn't occurred to me. I was thinking there had to be something here, but I was really struggling to find it. Um, so what's, I guess to be blunt, what's the point of this? Or what's a possible point of it? Uh, takes, takes. Chase the rook a little bit. Uh, it goes back. Now we've got Ishida on the other side of the board, minus the bishop here. Uh, and the pawn on the front. Oh. Um, okay. Oh wait, a gold and a rook aren't worth the same. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Yep, this may or may not work, but it's worthy of consideration. Uh, if one's playing a game, one looks at stuff like this, if they have time. Uh, the star next to the player name, I think that indicates a friend or favorite. So, yeah, it means I get notified when they log in, etc. Um, yeah. Yeah, if it comes to this, yeah. Yeah, it looks extremely hard to defend. And, um, yeah, they might just have to sack this. Just to try to, like, salvage this somehow. I don't know. That looks really rough. I can use pawns for attack. Oh, I got two pawns to use for attack. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, there's a lot of options here. Uh, we start with this one? Maybe. Maybe we start with this. Yeah. I would target this a little differently. Um, let's start with this one here. Okay, but yeah, I guess all three of these squares are options. Cool. Um, let's see, they do have a gold general in hand. Um... So maybe this next? I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of potential here. Yeah. Doesn't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. It's like, where does this end up? Why is this an improve? Well, maybe it doesn't matter. Um, where is this going? I see. Yeah, no, actually, he's right. That, um, yeah, if I want this tempo, there we go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Something went bing on me. Oh, all right. I have insufficient disk space to continue recording this episode. Give me one second to correct that. That shouldn't be the case, um, but is. It just means I've recorded a lot so far. Um, 
So I've cleared up a few files. Let's see. Yeah, I wonder if there are any thoughts, questions, ideas. Really sharp position, lots of attacking ideas. Um, it's hard to figure all this out within the span of the 15 minute game, isn't it? <laughs> Alexi will swim over too. Yep, gotta get that plan. Uh, oh, I see. So he says this summer for three more weeks. Uh, I guess I did not read that clearly enough. All right. So, yeah, maybe who knows? This might happen. Um, Chicago's not exactly super close for everybody, but it's a place everybody gathers when they want to do stuff. So, yeah, this is quite a game. Um, ah, and Champagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a trek from Chicago for sure. So, yeah, this game was sharp. Lots of ideas. Um, and then ultimately I found a mate somehow at the end. I saved my two Don rank for now. But there's always next time I might lose it. You never know. What a game. Thanks to Lexi uh, for the post-game analysis assistance and yeah, to Alvandi and uh, for this teaching ladder game. It's been quite an experience here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One more. All right. We'll see. Let's see what else. What have we missed? Sorry, we distracted Alexi. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, how do we give... How's this interface work? Hit this button? Yeah. He's got a great wisdom to share with us. So let's benefit. I knew I missed something here. <laughs> Couldn't gloss it over. <laughs> All right, crap. How do you... Uh, I might Nabati. Still good for black. Okay. Yep. Now this is a good instructive moment. I couldn't figure this out. What? Okay, what is this? I, certainly this came to mind. How is this good? What is this? So I get a gold. They have a rook and a bishop. Um, okay. Sumero. Well, that means check... Oh. Okay. Cheapers. Wow. Damn. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing I was most... Okay, yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so if they try to defend like this, we just take it. Worst case. But there's probably mate here. There's probably a direct mate. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this in the post game had me concerned, but this is incidentally just a mate. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. So then there's this, right? Is there any trick here? Maybe. Oh, we just surround the king this way from... Okay. Um... 
Mm. Uh, no Nebari in this type of position. Huh. So, where's the mate? Oh, we just take this. Yeah, that's cool. That's really amazing. Look at all the mates that we missed. So many checkmates. Yeah. So many cool ideas. Especially that, like, mate in 13 variation was really nice. Um, somehow in time pressure I missed it. But it's important to find these things, because in a different game, you might be the one getting mated. So find your best chances and use them. <laughs> Could swim over here, too. Yep. Hawaii, right? It's, it's the stones throw away if you can throw stones really far. Sharp stuff. So yeah, here... Yeah, I, certainly the bishop drop crossed my mind. And I just spaced on it and I'm like, well, I don't see the mate. And I see all this other attacking potential, so I just went for that. But yeah, the, clearly the idiomatic thing here. Surround the king, um, pick up the gold, and it just works itself out. Um, I have the saying is that four pieces as a mate, or the attack never runs out. Here we've got a knight, a rook, and a bishop attacking, and a knight in hand. So, yeah, they have like one defending their king, so. Here you could actually have like three attacking and the attack still doesn't run out because they just don't have a defense. And once the rook rejoins if necessary, like, yeah. The, this is just overwhelmed. They don't have anything left to defend with. But if they had a stronger castle, you'd need more pieces. If they had an even weaker castle, even a couple pieces can checkmate. So, depends on the circumstance, but... Anyway, yeah, uh, general remarks on the game. Uh, yeah, we got confused in the opening. Both of us played very peacefully, and we both got super distracted transitioning into the middle game, played some sharp stuff. I found a number of accurate moves in a row and just clocked my opponent, uh, who wasn't prepared for that. So... Uh, I was in time pressure for many moves, but I think I used my time effectively. So yeah, it was a fun game to analyze. Hope we all enjoyed this one together, and I'll see you next time.